do as well. A lot of damage, a lot of range poke, and actually a lot the flow and change the outcome of games. And Gambit with a very heavy engage, not necessarily uh, finding anyone yet, but here they come from the sidelines, they jumped in. Oh, they pile on and he flashed out Zazas there. So that's one flash down. Can they get on towards Vanda? Vanda, though, instead, the Rock out are going to try and turn this one back around. They're going aggressive in towards them. Death Center's thrown out, does not land. Lulex taking some damage around the back there. Salavar in between them and Rock out in between a rock and a hard place. Vanda flashes away. Kabashar diving in again. Ignite being used on them. It's back and forth. Salavar trying to pull some damage around the side. Gamut not really sure which way to go here. Kabashar with that Bloodwell available. Ignite down. It's going to get forced out. Bloodwell will pop. He can yeah. jump. He can jump. He's going to try and jump across the side, but he's going to jump straight across the rock out. And Salavar is there. Lands himself first blood. So Gambit, the risk of going loose. Oh, this is so oh, brave. He could, cause, he could cause some serious problems. If he gets caught by any CC, he's going to go down. Little Lance on towards him, potentially. Spears coming across the side there. There is a Little Lance. Lodex tanking it up, and Zaza's now in trouble. Remember, he has that blue move. He's got nowhere to run. And that was a gift for Fury, honestly. You know, his his threat. Oh, Lodex is fun that. Oh, he just walked in. I think he did an attack move on towards him. He gets the play down. Is the Ignite going to be enough to take him down? Vanda gets a return kill. So available in the bottom lane. They also have Yankos available, so they may look to challenge this dragon, but I think they're going to be too late. This is getting melted. Yeah, it's gone. I can only imagine the anger and fury. CS-wise, it's not too big of an advantage across the board. Zaz has, has, has actually stepped ahead of Cabo Shard briefly. So we'll see whether that one sticks around. Yankos will get spotted out. There is a war bit. And what I like about them is they're sniffing out opportunities. They are using their number. They got some vision down, and they have found Gambit a little bit out of position. What's out of position? They're going to go in on Gambit. Oh, they didn't manage to land the lockup, but Lolex has been found out. Oh, he flashed it just at the right time. Overpower caught them all, though. Intervention going down very early. Yankos has gone in, and again, a little bit disjointed rock out here. Yankos gets bounced in the air by Kavashar, but they just don't have enough damage back and forth with their spears. Could lock him up. Death sentence on Nick. He's got next to no mana either. Back and forth action. Nobody going down. Vanda, though, has been oh. singled out. The spear catches on, Kamenshard gets a slowdown on him. He's going to go down. The flash is not enough to get away. Kamenshard picks up the kill. So another kill to Gambit that should allow them to secure the dragon uncontested. We talked about Rocket and how their initiation power is reliant on a cocoon. A Glitter Lancer is the one that starts off tanking the turret. He can just drop the aggro thanks to his repel. The Ascent as they've caught Lolex. He's gone in! He's gone in towards it. Lolex is going to take all that front-loading damage, but he's actually safe for now, and he gets that big! Shield going off towards him. Overpower intervention saves his life. Eva's being focused on with Salavar. Salavar's got to be careful. He doesn't get singled out of the side. He's away from his team, and everybody again steps away. But this time, Rocket are in a much stronger position. So, so important for Gambit that they had strangled. Gambit has started Dragon. Is There's risky? not a lot of ultimates available. It has to be a pick for Rocket to contest. Very risky, but they get the Dragon down very quickly. Nick, yeah. he's going to try and catch on towards him. Nick's coming through. Spear is going to be ready in a moment. He's going to switch out of Kuga Ball. That's not Yankos. There's minions, the spiders are just about holding him up there, and the Cullen coming through as well. Spear doesn't land again, Kabashad giving chase on towards Yankos, he goes towards that Baron pit. Meanwhile, the rest of the team, the Spear dodged out there, Fury's been caught out, Overpower's gonna lock him down! He gets him down. Meanwhile, Yankos did get taken out by Kabashad, it's a one-for-one -one trade. And they're gonna keep on pushing. One-for-one one at the end of the day, it was Overpower with a very aggressive flash ignite. That got, oh, that's oh, another one. Oh. Nick with the homing spears. Gambit going to keep chasing. Oh, he dumpsters on towards him, but it's not enough. That good play from Vanda dodges out of the spear. Salavar's going to get caught with the slow. Nick's going to look to land another spear. That minion wave is just defending him for now. Can he throw it towards him? Going to dodge and heal, so he may stick around. If he gets caught by the knockup of Kabashan, he's in trouble. He's going to get caught out. He's going to get on towards it. Intervention goes down from Overpower. Locks on towards him. Lonex gets on towards Salavar's not going to be focused. Overpower will. Overpower wow. will. And Kabashan, oh my god. Overpower gets two down. Salavar clears it out. Wow. That intervention was massive. Rocket gets the kills. They're going to secure this Baron uncontested and have a very solid stranglehold on the game. You can see here, that's just how close he's got. Just take a look at how many auto attacks Overpower is hitting. So we're in slow mo. Where are the Runar's Hurricane Bolts? And the backline Salivar, that's just a double auto attack. Melting through them. And very, very well played. Um, 3v1 him.
This is going to be scary. He does have intervention available. Let's see how early he uses it. Kavashar Bloodwell came up just at the right time. Pops the ultimate down. Intervention goes down. Can he take him all out before? He may be able to. Kavashar's low, but it's not going to be enough. The tower damage is there. Kavashar takes him out. The rest of the Rocket, though, they're closing in towards this one. Gambit have to back away from the tower. Yeah, they really do. If Rocket managed to secure the tower, it will be... Stepping off the side there. You can see they're going to start off the Baron. They're getting good vision from the Cogmore ultimate. Kavashar continuing to push. It's going to keep throwing these spears. They're going to force Kavashar to teleport in here. They're going to have to go for this he one. He can Gambit. teleport to the plant if he wants to, and he's doing it. He's coming into the plant. Right? Vander's going to be the man on the front there. Lolex flashes out. Intervention used on Vander. Gambit are going to force him out of the pit. The spear comes through. Catches on Vander once again. So Gambit take themselves a turret and defend the Baron. Intervention. Nick needs to tank this one out. Lolex is very low. He's not getting any regen. The Gamrock are going to start this one up again. Nikki's not there. There's no spears following through on this one. Gambit may well have given it up. You can see they're trying to desperately to keep them away. Getting Vision Fury again. Overpower waiting in the pounce on towards Kavashad again. They try to peel off. They've not finished yet. Baron taking down to 2,000. 3,000 hit points just off the side there. Death Sentence does not land. 4,000 hit points. Rock out, peel away once again. And Gambit defends. He's sticking to that turret. He's going to get this one for absolutely nothing. Zazas takes down the inhibitor turret. Gambit slow to react. Kavashad. How important Ooh. it is to Man. beat a solo queue team. Gambit are miles away sneaky. and this is getting shredded. Yeah, this is sneaky. There's only going to be even nearby. He's going to get vision now. It's too late. It's That's Rock out getting the Baron. Yeah, some strangle thoughts maybe. No. Nope. Now, if Overpower had been on the Baron oh. earlier. Oh. If or Gambit, that's another dragon secured. They a team fight victory? I don't know if he will. It's a risky play. If Kamashar were to make that, it would cost them the middle inhibitor. Oh, but look at the damage. Not doing it. Not doing There's siege minions there. It's only just gone down. Come on, Kamashar. You can do it, buddy. Oh, Rocket finally recalling. It, it's a little late. I mean, 50, 60% of their tower's HP. It, oh. oh, go, Overpower, go. Uh -oh. He's found Lolex. Lolex is dead. He's not getting out of that one. Oh, he's he away. And he thinks it'll help him. No. Nick's now going to get caught down here. Salamar goes in. That was all they required. Just a little. Objective. Super minions are pouring in the bottom lane. Rocket, they're going to commit. Can they get caught out? Fury catching on towards Vanda, putting a lot of damage down towards him, but that is only the support. Meanwhile, Salamar putting the damage back on Kavashard. They're going to push it. Can, can they close the game out, or will they step away again? That's a big spear onto Salamar. The rest of Rocket are on the inhibitor. Quick shield on towards him. Heal goes in. Down. He's getting the spear. He was caught out. He's only just respawned. Strangle Thorns goes down. Vanda is going to escape this one. Fury wants the chase, but nobody's with him. Fury has to step away. Kavashard goes in. He's got the plug well available. Fury, can he land the damage down? No, they're going to mitigate it very well. Kavashard comes back up. Overpower comes to the side. He just cleaves his way through Gambit, and they just drop like flies. They do manage to get a kill with the <laughs> passive there at the end. The Rocket and Clinis finish the game off here. Can they push on through? I think they can. Zazen's got teleport available. He's gone back to buy. Overpass in there. Salabar's going aggressive. The Nexus turrets will fall. 53 minutes into this game, Rocket will finally close out Gambit in what has been the longest, most passive game of League of Legends in a while. They managed to put themselves in a spot where they could take Gambit out. And Lolex was unfortunate to uh, run into members of Rocket, but it just took so long to create that opportunity, so long to be in that position.